If you were to describe Oxford with three words, which words would you choose? Sophisticated. I think the thing that stood out to me first was the diversity. I would say probably quite unique. Wow. Um, I think I would choose inspiring. Challenging. And pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Grand. Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Warm atmosphere. Interdisciplinary. Enriching. And exciting. Why did you choose Oxford? Because I think I wanted to be in an environment where I could really prioritize uh, self-growth. Um, and it's one of the reasons I came here for my master's, to be able to dive into topics in digital health that I didn't have much exposure in before. Uh, but it's a big reason why I stayed here. Uh, for my default as well. I was really fascinated by the work that my department, the Oxford Internet Institute, was doing. Uh, it's one of the only departments, I believe the only one in the world, that gives out degrees to study really interesting and, and important challenges around the internet and society. Uh, so it was really the OAI, uh, and in addition to that, Oxford as, as a, such a historically significant and impressive uh, and exciting place to be as well. Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting one for me because I feel like I never thought about Oxford, I never dreamt about Oxford, and I had just sort of done my bachelor's and my master's, and then I you know, thought, oh, let me take a year off, or let me take two years off. Um, but then I randomly just decided to do a little internet search, and I uh, saw a really neat program here, and uh, just kind of decided to send an email out. Um, but I'm so glad I ended up here, but um, it was definitely not something that I thought was in the cards for me. I mean, Oxford is the number one university in the world. Who wouldn't want to come to Oxford? So um, the main reason I wanted to come here is when I was browsing the courses I wanted to study, because last year I did uh, my first master's in women's gender and sexuality studies. It was very detailed in um, how the course was going to go, the theoretical methods that were going to be applied, and just um, the research that it offers and the impeccable um, um, lecturers that we have that are really diverse in their various fields. I wanted to benefit from that, and Oxford just clearly stated that in their website, and it was just my number one choice outside of all the others. What's your least favorite thing about Oxford? My least favorite, it's it's also my favorite, so it's, it's a difficult one because there's always 50 events happening every night, seems to be the, the theme. Uh, so finding it, it's, it's hard to, to really focus and, uh, and decide that tonight is a work night and I can't be out socializing uh, when there's so many things happening every single day. So trying to find that balance is, uh, is frustrating, but also it's, it's a great learning experience. I think it comes with being such a fast paced uh, hopefully high performance environment but it can be quite insular as a result of that. Um, it's very much a bubble and I think um, you do need to take a bit of time sometimes to step back and see how what you're learning and the discussions you're having fit within um, the real world essentially before you get too abstract. I would say the weather uh, but also coming from Seattle it's something I've gotten a little bit used to um, but uh, I definitely think that Oxford can be a busy place for many people uh, often including myself, um, and I think it's uh, definitely an adjustment um, uh, to make uh, in that first couple terms, uh, getting used to the busyness of life, um, getting used to um, learning how to manage uh, hobbies with academics. I think here uh, the university tends to focus on just full-time research and it's a bit hard to develop some of the other skills that I think I was interested in learning, like I feel like you kind of, it is a sort of thing where um, it's what you make of it and you need to make a lot of effort sometimes to get those skills versus in other programs that I'm more used to, I feel like those things are factored into the structure of the program. For instance, whether that's teaching skills or other general career skills. How does Oxford compare to any other universities you've studied at? So my previous university was Bristol. I really enjoyed my time, but just a very different environment. Um, I think Oxford, it's more independent um, but at the same time, that means that you have more space to follow your own interests and passions. So one of the great things about the course at Oxford was they gave me the foundation um, in the topics that I needed. But from there, I really had the space to, to go down any route that I wanted with that. So I went to Indiana University, uh, a great university in the Midwest. Um, and while it was beautiful, large, uh, kind of your quintessential, American sports and uh, state university. I think Oxford gave me something a little bit smaller, um, but just equally as grand um, with the added benefit of 
being able to meet so many international people, um, people who are really all over the world, whether it's first or second generation, um, and who are here for this common purpose of really uh, engaging with the wider globe and the wider globe's issues, uh, rather than I think sometimes the siloed issues in the United States. So I have just done my bachelor's and my master's at the same university in Canada. I went to McMaster and it's so different for so many different reasons. Um, a, the course structure is different, like I said. Um, here it's a focus on full-time research and so you do have, I feel, a lot more flexibility in terms of what you want to devote your time to. So if there's something that you're not interested in, you can kind of pretty easily opt out of it, I feel. Um, it's also super different because of the college structure, which I really love. I no, in you know Canada and other universities, there's things like residences or other social groups. But here, I feel like the college community was just so tight knit, at least in my experience, that it was really neat to have a friend group near where you live and you know be able to do all these sort of activities with them and social events. Um, and of course, Oxford, Oxford's just awkward. <laughs> Oxford is um, just super different because of what it looks like. I think it's so nice to be in a place with so much sort of historical significance and a lot of that history is preserved even today. So it's just stunning to walk around and, and be outside, even if you're not necessarily an outdoorsy person. <laughs>